Hi, thank you so much for having me. I think we're really thrilled to be getting our 2020 season underway. We've had a substantial growing period during the fall with almost um, a 50% new roster, but I think that the team is finally starting to gel nicely and we're really looking forward to our opening weekend matches. Tia? Uh, what can you tell us about the new faces on the roster? So we have two transfers. One is out of the SEC and one is out of the Big 12. Um, they were both um, pretty well-known match clinchers for their programs. And we're really excited to um, add them to our Wisconsin roster. The other two are pretty new faces. One actually just arrived um, about 10 days ago. And the other one um, arrived in the fall. And they've both really um, embraced the University of Wisconsin and I think our ideals as Wisconsin women's tennis. Brian? You had such a strong season a year ago. You know, you go, I think, 9-2 and two in the Big Ten, something like that. You know, can you carry that over? Have you seen some carryover from the success you had? I think the seasons are so different. Um, our fall is primarily focused on development of their individual games. And I think in the spring, our mindset completely shifts and becomes more team oriented. We've had a really unbelievable kind of two and a half week training block, which we don't normally have the luxury of getting since um, our school starts pretty late on September 6th. And then we compete about seven days um, after that. So I'm not really sure, to be honest with you. I think I've been really pleased with what we've seen in practice. I think they're um, working towards playing for something greater than themselves and taking advantage of the opportunities when they pre present themselves during the points. But I think for us, it's just consistency daily with our work. And I think that's kind of how we were able to build last year in terms of gaining momentum. And I've seen glimpses of that, but it's still so early in the season. Um, I think I'm hopeful. I think it's a really fun group. I think they have a lot of different personalities, but they're definitely leaning towards um, a more unified team. And that's where we have success. I have a question for you, Coach. Um, what can you tell us about this weekend's uh, ITA kickoff weekend? I mean, it's a pretty big honor to be included in this prestigious event, right? I think it was really exciting for us to be able to select um, which site we're going to. And we chose playing Georgia Tech first. We're a three seed. Georgia Tech is a two seed. And obviously, the host site, South Carolina, is a one seed. Um, for us, we haven't had the opportunity to play in that since I've been a head coach here. So I guess this is going into my fourth year. Wow, time goes by fast. Um, and I think that for our team, it's just kind of another stepping stone towards us improving kind of our um, brand in college tennis. So I think it's a really good matchup for us. I think our team is excited to play. And um, it's kind of exciting because it's clinch clinch. So for us, it means we have to really be ready to go from the first point. Brian? So it had been a while since Wisconsin women's tennis had achieved some of the things that you did a year ago. So how were you able to, to get these young ladies to come to Madison? Did you sell them on that, hey, we've got everything we need here? How did, how did you get them to, to come here? I think in terms of our new faces. Yeah, actually everybody that might be playing for right? <laughs> um, That's a great question. I think for us, it's just selling the holistic development. I think University of Wisconsin and Madison in general, you can kind of get the best of all worlds. You can get an unbelievable education. We feel like you can really get a great tennis experience. People consistently improve in the program. And also, I think you can have a balance of, of a life in a city. Um, so I think if you want a little bit of everything, this is an ideal setting for that. And I think people gravitate towards a program that's on the rise. And I think with people willing to put in the work, we're a team that can consistently evolve and improve year in and year out. Anything else for Coach McKenna? You, you mentioned the transfers. Could you tell us a little bit about them? Uh, what would you like to know specifically? Sorry. Sure. Um, so Antonella Stoika, she goes by Anto. Um, she is a sophomore transfer from Texas Tech. Um, she had, I think, an 18 and 10 match record last year um, in the high teens for sure. I, don't quote me on that number. But um, she also is really great under pressure. Um, she is someone that you can look towards playing in the top half of our lineup. Um, she was a major contributor in the Big 12. Um, she played primarily three and four for Texas Tech. Um, and then 
Maruna Tudor, she transferred to us from Arkansas. Um, they're both actually Romanian. Um, one grew up, Anto grew up in Spain, um, and Maruna grew up in Romania, but they both speak Romanian and they're fluent in a couple other languages. But in terms of games, like they're very different sizes, they play very different styles. Um, Maruna is almost six feet tall and Anto's 5'5", five five, so it's kind of funny that they're both from Romania and they are definitely have very diverse um, tennis experiences. But we're pretty excited to have them here at Wisconsin.